Hey, this is Nevin. This week on the Disket, we're bringing to you an awesome breakfast recipe. And this week's episode is sponsored by Albuquerque Tortilla Company. So stick around. Hey, it's Nevin again, coming to you with another episode of why cooking outdoors has never been better. And here we are, the beginning of season number three already of our great episodes on how to cook on this wonderful product. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get started by pushing the knob on the burner and slowly rotating to the left and getting ignition. What I'm gonna do today is a very simple recipe with my favorite chorizo, potatoes, onions, eggs, cheese, and flour tortillas. So I get that stuff ready. We'll go ahead and get through this thing, show you what we're doing. So I've already got some of this stuff pre-set up. What I'm using here is my particular favorite brand, which is Peyton's Chorizo, and it's about eight to 10 links here. I've already got them all separated here, and I'm gonna start the Chorizo, the Peyton's Chorizo, and I also have some other regular store-bought Chorizo to mix that in just to add a little bit different flavors. So while this is cooking, we'll get a few questions answered. Now, one of the main questions that we get all the time by all you thousands of people that are watching our blog and our show every week is exactly what do we mean by Disket Designs and Sponsored Diskets? Well, the Disket itself will be combined of any kind of design in the Disket stand that you like. So whether you like the elk or the chilies or the Fat Chef that I'm gonna show you now, we can basically incorporate your design into however you want the product manufactured. Now, while this is cooking here, let me give you an example. Mike here, a friend of ours, wanted to order a disket, and he wanted something different with a chef. So he actually took the time to design his idea of what he wanted the pattern to look like on his disket. So he brought us a drawing that he had put together. We incorporated his drawing into the disket design, and we'll show you a full picture of that here in just a second. In fact, we're cooking on his today. So when we talk about disket designs, we'll make it how you want it made. Now there's about 400 to 420 different designs or so right now, and that number will always grow because you are the one that letting us know what you want on the product itself. Now there's other things that come up as far as the frequent asked questions with the disket design. Customization of the base plate, customization of the handles. While I'm smelling this chorizo cook up, let me show you a couple of different examples. The handles themselves usually say disket cut into the steel. Now for this particular customer, Jerome and his wife, Laura, we included their name into the handles, which get welded to the, to the cooking disc itself. So there's another method of customization, another answer to those frequent asked questions. So thank you, Shannon out of Missouri, for bringing that to our attention and making sure we clarify what we mean by customization and disket designs. What we've got here is we've got the chorizo, the Peyton's chorizo that we're talking about, cooking up in the center, and the other chorizo about the outside of it. Now this is gonna take about 10 to 15 minutes to cook up. Well, that's cooked up, I'd like to show you that we've already got the potatoes ready. We've already pre-cut up. There's about 12 potatoes in there, a little bit of red and bell, green bell peppers. We've actually got about 18 eggs, already all cracked set up in this bowl here. We've got some shredded cheese, we've got some tortillas. So everything's pretty much ready to put in this thing. Now we're cooking quite a bit because there's a lot of hungry people around here. So we're gonna feed about 20, 25 people with this recipe. Now you'll see it by the uh, PDF section below, as you see here on the blog, you can print out that recipe and you can adjust it by how many people you're gonna feed. So here I've got about 10 Peyton's chorizo sausage links and about a pound of regular chorizo. Get that mixed up, we're gonna add the potatoes, the eggs, the cheese, put some tortillas on it, mix it up with a bunch of hunger and get everybody happy. So as you can see, we've got most of the chorizo pretty much all cooked up all in the center of the disc here. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna pull the chorizo up off towards the edge of the disc, and I'm gonna add all those potatoes and some of the vegetables that I pre-cut up. So as you can see here, there's about, I think that's about 10 potatoes that are pretty finely diced, a little bit of red, a bit red and green bell peppers. So I'm gonna add that right into the center and cook the potatoes and all of the oils that are that's provided by the chorizo. So mix that up. Now adding this many potatoes into that chorizo is really gonna take about another 10 minutes or so to cook up. So now we got these potatoes fully cooked, mixed in with all of our awesome chorizo. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a little bit of salt and pepper to them, and then I'm gonna mix these things up and pull them to the outside of the disc where it still stays warm, it'll continue to cook, 
get my eggs put in the center, scramble them up, and get all that stuff ready for breakfast. So I've got some pepper. Now I'm a big pepper fan, as you guys have seen in all the episodes that, that we've cooked on this before. So here I go again. A little bit of salt. Now you don't want to add too much salt because the chorizo definitely has quite a bit of salt in it. I'm also a big garlic fan, so get some garlic in there. Mix this stuff up. Get my eggs ready here. Now the eggs are going to cook pretty quick. Keep in mind that with the chorizo and the potatoes already heated up to such a temperature and the disc is already running so hot that these eggs are actually going to cook pretty quick. So again, I'm feeding a lot of people here this morning. We're probably looking at close to 24 people. Uh, as far as what we're setting up on this disc here all at once. So I make a lot of people my best friend here in about 10 more minutes. So what I'm, the reason I'm doing this here by moving this stuff aside, and a lot of people like to mix everything in together right off the bat. I'm also an egg fan. I like, to, I like the flavor of my eggs. So what I try to do is I get those eggs cooked up separately. So I've got about 18 eggs already set up, already cracked and broken in the bowl. So I'm going to put those eggs right in the middle. And again, I try to keep away from using uh, a whole lot of different dishes, so I'm going to use my spatula to just go ahead and scramble up these eggs into my disc. Once those eggs are fully cooked up in here, I'm going to mix all the chorizo and the potatoes back into the egg mixture after the eggs are cooked, and then I'm going to sprinkle some shredded cheese, put some flour tortillas on top, let them warm up, and get them served for burritos. So we've got the eggs all cooked up right here in the center of the disc. So you can see, I'm going to go ahead and take all those awesome potatoes and my favorite breakfast, the chorizo here, mix all that stuff up together. As I mentioned a couple seconds ago, we're still cooking everything together, but we're keeping some of the flavors separate. So I still got the separate egg flavors, the chorizo, the potatoes. I'm going to mix all that stuff together. It's just going to take just a second. Then I'm going to put some of that, I like sharp shredded cheddar cheese. Some people like mild to each his own. So I mix this stuff up. Get this stuff ready and get ready to be about, be best friend about 25 different people here. Look at that. That's a breakfast burrito there. All right, so I mentioned here, I've got some shredded sharp cheese. So I'm gonna go ahead and set this thing up on the, the breakfast burritos. Now all that food is hot, I'm gonna actually go ahead and turn off the burner on the disc it and get my tortillas here. Now by covering the food with the tortillas, it's gonna do two things. One, it's gonna warm the tortillas. It's also gonna help melt that cheese, that cheese even faster. Puts out a lot of heat, so this thing's gonna be ready to go real quick. Get this ready to eat. Look at that. Get that rolled up. In time, this is chorizo, potato, and eggs, breakfast burritos. Cooking outdoors has never been better. Disc it. So if you enjoyed this video, make sure you sign up on our website here to be part of the many thousands of people on our Disc It community. All you gotta do is go to disc-it.com forward slash free you can be part of what we do, get a free video, free recipes, free information, and disc it deals. Cooking outdoors has never been better. Disc it.